Christian Espinosa had an assist on the Andy Rios goal. We are underway inside Earthquake Stadium. Headed in. Ike Opara. We talk so much about his defense. He has Minnesota United FC on the board to lead 1-0. Came in from Grey Goose, the attacking run of Ike Parr. He loses his marker, which is Osvaldo Alanis, and he gets in front of him and just powers it past Daniel Vega. The pace on the ball was such that Vega. Minnesota United not out of danger left. Tommy Thompson goes down at the edge of the 18. Valdemero Toledo motions for play to continue. Gonna have to look at this one, VAR. I think there's a touch here that goes on to Tommy Thompson. Yes, it is. I honestly don't know why it took so long, Daniel. I really, I really don't. Erickson. Can he make it 1-1? One, one? Yes, he does. Go, San Jose. And it's 1-1. One, one. The fact that he wants to get on the end of those goals. He's getting so many assists, but I need to see him on the score sheet this year. Greg Oosh putting the shot on. And Minnesota goes back on top. Jan Greg Oosh. And it's 2-1, Bloons. And has opened the account this year. It's not really a counter-tap because there's plenty of people back there for the earthquakes, and Nick Lima's probably got to read that to get out there quicker to put more pressure. Andre Goosh has put a really good strike on goal. Gopara lost his footing. 29-year-old Frenchman, Metinair. Amaria! Another headed ball past Daniel Vega. Amaria's first goal in MLS. Correction, second goal in MLS. Two in two games, and it's a really good ball that comes in from Kevin Molino, and he's pulled away from Goran Cashier, found some decent space, and it's a good header. It's a decent header on frame, but you know, Daniel's got a good hand to that one, and maybe. From the near side. All kinds of contact, and a penalty. Oparo is taken down the first half. Well, once again, it's the, the confusion is with this. Vega waits. The run-up. Amaria, saved by Vega. Shot put on. Goal. Minnesota United FC on the rebound. Erickson chipping it, dropping for Vaco, redirected in front, goal San Jose, and the quick strike first in the second half, 4-2. Work on the right hand side initially by Espinosa and also Thompson, it was Magnus Erickson that got the second chance cross into the area, well defended by Boxer, but Vaco's got the thing that is happening on this set piece. There's a lot of holding going on, and both of the holding calls that have happened so far. Opara have gone against the earthquakes. Mike Opara has the brace tonight. Two headed home volleys off the corner, and it is five to two, Minnesota United FC. It's a good ball again by Gay Gouge, and it's won well by Echo Power. The question is how Boxel in front of Daniel Vega, as he screamed or got in the way of the goalkeeper before the ball went in the back of the net. That's what Magnus Eriksson is asking for, saying there was some contact potentially on Daniel Vega by Boxel.